If you follow the vlog, you know Wednesdays are my favorite day to go out and get footage of the city, especially when it's 80 degrees and sunny. Unbelievable day. The bridges go up and down a bunch throughout Wednesday. They did a bunch today. But you will not find me happier than days like today. Here's the old Chicago Tribune, Tribune Tower. When I moved to Chicago in 2013, that's where I got a real job. And I've told you guys that before on the show. I mean, the show is just my life at this point, you know? But I've never showed you this. This is the front door where I'd go into work every single morning. But way more cool than my front door was on the Tribune Tower, they have a bunch of these like protruding parts of different iconic sculptures and buildings and just notable landmarks from all over the world. Holy Door St. Peter's Rome. The medieval portal in Germany. Here's one from a really peaceful time in history. Like, do you want to just casually touch the Egyptian pyramids in Chicago? Sure, go for it. Craters of the moon. But anyways, check it out if you're downtown Chicago ever. It's right on the Mag Mile. But you're probably not here for my history lesson of my life in Chicago. You're probably here for food. And today's video, like always, is made possible by someone donating on the show each and every day. Let's give it up. Hold on, I brought the donation notebook for a reason, you know? This thing gets a lot of screen time. Can I bring my highlighter? Oh. Oh, Sean, you dumbass. Mark it off later. <laughs> that idiot's been feeding us for a week. Enough lollygagging. Today's video is brought to you by Yesenia Delgado. Get the Chevito from Cafe Cito. This is one of my favorite hangover sandwiches. Also make sure to eat it as soon as they make it. It's best hot and fresh. Enjoy. Yesenia has very good track record on this vlog because she was the one that introduced me to the Pombazo, that insane sandwich at El Habanero. I still think about that thing daily. Oh my God. And I saved this one appropriately uh, for a day when I was a little hungover because yesterday I went to the White Sox Guardians game and had approximately 11 beers with my buddy Bobby and then the baseball announcer voice just turned into a full-blown sketch. Oh, wow, I live here at Guaranteed Right Field. We've got Sox Guardians deep into the eighth inning. Clint, what do you feel? Tom, I lost my wallet in the fourth. I found it in the sixth. I'm having a hell of a time. 3-2 pitch. I think Bobby's announcer character just loses his wallet. <laughs> We also went to Turtles Bar after the game, which is like just north of the stadium. It's my favorite like post White Sox game bar and had a bucket of beer way too late in the night. So this sandwich is really going to hit. Okay, this is Cafe Cito. Let's get this and then find a park bench. <laughs> Thank you guys, have a good one. God, I love online ordering. It makes everything so, it's just on the table. It's fresh and hot, I just ordered it. Let's go. I like sandwiches. All right, I saw a picnic table in a park and I was like, I'm one foot away from the water, the lake. Why don't we eat? This will really cure the hangover. Sweated it out. I've already walked 13,276 steps, 7.46 miles, and it's 2.30 in the afternoon. We sweated it out, sweated it, sweated it in. We got the water, we've got a Chivito. I guess I should put my sunglasses on like a normal person. Whoa, what is on this thing? Oh my god, it looks insane. If I do have sunglasses on, I can't see if it's, can you see me? Okay, so a Chivito press sandwich is steak, ham, bacon, Jesus, fried egg, mozzarella, lettuce, tomato, onion, citrus, aioli, and shoestring potatoes. And it's pressed, so, oh my God. Latin American food is the best cuisine. Can we just all agree? The apex of the sandwich making arts, Uruguay. The mighty Chivito. Pretty much my philosophy encapsulated in sandwich form. All right, Yesenia, let's see if you're two for two. This thing is piping hot still. <laughs> what the hell? I might like that better than a Cuban sandwich. Oh, the egg on it. <laughs> that citrus aioli mixing with all those meats and then that pressed bread. <laughs> this makes me want to get drunk. So I can have these moments of being hungover. You get it. This is properly insane. This little quest of making videos every single day of this year. You guys really know food. Like, you know, you know more than you let on. Have you guys ever had a Chivito? If not, 
go get one. To no one's surprise, they cook eggs better than an American diner. Eating when you've had a lot of beers the night before might even be better than eating the food when you're still awake the night of, like drunk food. <laughs> so Saturday I went to the Cubs game, and then yesterday I went to the White Sox game. It is a little embarrassing how much better the food and drink scene is at Guaranteed Rate Field than at Wrigley Field. Like, truly. And of course, like Southside's gonna have more culture and better food, but the fact that it translates so directly to the ballpark, to the ballpark. It's a close one, Todd. It sure is, Clint. We've got a close game here in Chicago. The score is basically is tied. Good. Stop it or you're interrupting me. Ah, uh, 3 2 pitch. What do you have? It's so nuts. Like, you can get Cuban sandwiches at guaranteed rate. You can get a Chicago style hot dog that's somehow done even worse than getting it out of a vending machine at Wrigley. I had a hot dog at each place. Saturday and Tuesday, and it's embarrassing how much better it was on the south side. These whole ass eggs fell out. I don't care. The steak is so tender. I was actually smart today and brought water, too. I never do that. I also put on SPF 50. That stuff's like trying to put white out on your body. It like doesn't rub in. <laughs> so I'm safe. I know for a fact you guys are jealous right now. I know you are. I used all five napkins already. Do you guys have any sandwich recommendations for Cuban restaurants, like other than the Cuban sandwich and other than this? If I tasted ham like that, and I was the Hillshire Farm CEO, I'd resign. Food also tastes so much better when you have close proximity to water. Like, what is it? Like, have you ever been out in the ocean, and then you came on land, <laughs> and you had like, like street tacos or like bang and shrimp tacos I could end my life in that moment and I'd be fully happy after I ate them that was a weird, weird thing to say I ate this so fast the whole thing's gone that was a massive sandwich that thing was only like nine bucks and some change in downtown Chicago who's to board Wish I had mine right now because I am exhausted. I don't want to walk all the way back. I'm like I'm, I'm like two miles from my apartment. <laughs> I gotta, I'm gonna be over 10 miles today before dinner. Bessinia, everything about that was perfect. Please keep donating for more Cuban sandwiches. I swear to God, I'm in debt to you. Look how smart I am too. This was very intentional. I ate right here. Look how close this garbage can is. Can you see it? Nothing is ever by accident. All right, off to social studies class. Come on, guys. The only kind of non-smart videographer move, I ate that right next to Lakeshore Drive, which can be kind of noisy, but kind of cool. A 360 degrees of Chicago's uh, Lakefront. That guy in a Mercedes driving way too fast on LSD. I am talking about the road, uh, not the drug, but maybe he was on both. Now he's in a tunnel. I feel fine. I wish they'd throw the ball. Uh, well, they're throwing the ball quite a bit, actually. It's a baseball game, so...